Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. I hope all of you had a fantastic week and closed in profit. So this weekend I'm away. So this video has to be really super quick because if my other half finds out that I'm working on a weekend, on a Sunday, especially on our weekend trip, she's literally going to break my balls. So this video is gonna be rather quick. So let's get down to the analysis now. I'm going to show you three possible scenarios in this video the same way I did last week because we have to be ready for every potential outcome. But before we do that, let's recap quickly what happened in the past few weeks. So we talked about this consolidation area on the left hand side where we have a top and the bottom horizontal line. And you can see as soon as the price broke out or broke through this consolidation area, then it rested a little bit and went straight to this first descending bearish trend line which acted as a resistance for a day. But as soon as the price broke through this descending trend line, came back to retest it and the resistance became a support. And you can see that as soon as the support was retested, the price went straight to 18.45, which was about an $85 increase, which is incredible. So many people got, you know, a ton of money. So many, they catch so many pips. Now, here comes the first scenario. If we go down to a lower time frame. You can see that the price started to form a bullish channel. You can see that we have a bottom ascending trend line, a bottom, uh, sorry, a top ascending trend line. So, so many people started to short around the 1841 area because they think, if we draw the trend line this way, that the price is going to fall back to the 1800 area for one reason. You can see this consolidation area. As soon as the price broke through, it didn't retest it, which is really important because usually the price always retests key levels, such as the top of the consolidation area. If we look back on the chart, if you go back test and look left, you will see that every single consolidation area or top of the consolidation was retested. So this is the first scenario. So many people started to short here because the price touched the top of this um, bullish channel. And they expect the price to came back all the way to 1800, which is fair enough. It's a possible scenario, but it's not the one thing. Uh, it's not the one I am looking for. Second scenario, you can see that we have two trend lines on the chart. The first one, which touches so many wicks and candles. And we have the second one, which touches exactly the highest points of the gold USD spot levels. You can see that I also marked the weekly 61.80 and 78.60, which are strong Fibonacci levels. And we have the bullish ascending channel. If you go down to lower time frame, you can see that we talked about this level on 1842, where so many people started to short because they see that the price touched the top of the ascending bullish trend line. But what if the what if we adjust the trend line a little bit and we play with the trend line? You can see it's still valid. And if we move the top channel, the top of the channel a little bit higher, you can see that the descending bearish trend line, the weekly 61.80, as well as the top of the bullish consolidation or, or the bullish ascending channel meets here. So in my opinion, if you want to hear it, I think the price is going to come and retest the 61.80. So many people started to short here, but again, if you adjust the bullish channel a little bit and we think about the consolidation, sorry, the 61.80 and the bearish trend line. And if you look left on the chart, this is a strong support and resistance level. So it would make more sense for the price to come and retest this level at 1850 or 1851, because we might have some spillover. So in my scenario i think the price is going to come back and retest the 1850 level before it melts all the way down to 1800 to retest the top of this consolidation area now it's a bit early to tell but as soon as the price will come back to retest the top of the consolidation area i think it's going to bounce all the way even to 1900 but it's a little bit too fast forward so let's focus on the present now again i think in my scenario that the price is going to come back to the 1851 area before it drops now we appreciate the different scenario where the people adjusted the trend line this way started to short at 1842 you know this is a valid scenario it is possible everyone has their opinion and analysis this could be right this time or next time always be careful when you're giving uh, or try to give constructive feedback to others, different ideas. We see the charts differently, so it's not a problem. These are all valid points. But in my opinion, I think the price is going to come back to retest the 1850, 1851 area. 
We talked about two possible bearish scenario, but what happens if the price keeps continue to be bullish and invalidates both of the bearish scenarios? Now, in this case, we have clear levels, which I marked on the chart. So if the price comes back to retest the 1850 area and for some reason it continues to be bullish and breaks it through, all we have to do is wait for the retest, either the top of the ascending bullish trend line and the strong support and resistance level on the 1850 area before we enter into a long scenario. And the next possible destination or the target take profit level would be around the 1900s. So you can see that the FIBO 786 lines up with 1879. But if you think about this, let's just adjust this horizontal level to 1900 because 1900 is a strong psychological number which could be monitored by institutions and other you know, big players in the market. So in my opinion, this would be the most sensible level to be retested. So the bearish, the, sorry, the bullish scenario, if the price breaks out from this ascending bullish channel, invalidates the weekly 61.80, then it will be a retest. Or hopefully there will be a retest. And the next sensible target level would be the weekly 786, which lines up with the 1900 area, extremely strong psychological number. So we analyzed two bearish and one bullish scenario guys so you are definitely ready for next week no matter what happens because you know the every single potential outcome so you cannot go wrong because you know the levels you know where to enter and where to exit by the way if you get any value out of the weekly videos please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below whether i should keep up the work or not also i wanted to highlight guys that the weekly or the spring sales on my website is going to end today or tomorrow so if you go to the website you can see i have 50 percent off from all of the courses all you have to do is use the spring 50 voucher code at the checkout if you have any questions there is a free telegram group which you can find the link in the description below which is designed specifically for gold you can see you can find it on telegram so usd trading pit i put the link into the description below so you can join it's a free telegram group chat where you can speak share your opinions but remember guys always respect others and try to provide feedback in a constructive criticism way so don't be rude respect others opinion and help each other because we are all in one game if you write today maybe you're wrong tomorrow if you're wrong today you may be right tomorrow so no matter what happens try to help each other and support other and always be respectful when you're giving feedback or criticism so this was the weekly video guys i hope you enjoyed it stay safe for next week and make some profit